Saint Cornelius was a pope who dealt with the Novatian controversy. Novatian was a theologian in North Africa who rejected the return of Christians who denied their faith to save their lives from the Romans. Saint Cyprian, bishop of Carthage, said that the lapsed Christians only had to do confession and penance to come back into the church, following the doctrine of Saint Paul being supported by the Pope and Dionysius of Alexandria. This was reaffirmed in the Council of Carthage of 251 that excommunicated Novation. However, he tried to take over the papacy becoming an anti-pope. Cornelius was the first pope to talk about exorcists and the church in Rome was able to feed 1,500 people daily. He was kidnapped and killed by the Emperor Gallus. Lucius I had a short papacy because he suffered the same banishment as his predecessor. He continued to work in combating Novationism and kept the support of Cyprian of Carthage. His most relevant decrees were prohibiting priests to cohabitate with female clergy and he started promoting marriage for couples who were living together. He insisted that men and women who were not related by blood should not live together unless they were married. Saint Stephen I was controversial because of his tougher rules on the admission of lapsed Christians. While he condemned Novationism, he also went against other extreme positions as Cyprian took. Stephen I held that converts who had been baptized by splinter groups did not need rebaptism. This policy, while not accepted by Eastern churches at the time, in fact will not be the case until 1755. In his letters to Cyprian, he reminded him of the Tues Petrus clause from the Bible and he restored the bishops of Leon and Astroga in Hispania, who had been deposed for unfaithfulness during the persecution but afterwards had repented. Sixtus II gave up to the imposition of accepting baptism performed by heretics in order to maintain agreement with Eastern and African Christianity. He was regarded by the Africans as a pacifier, especially compared to Stephen. He was killed by the persecution of the Emperor Valerianus. Dionysius of Rome convinced the Emperor Gallienus to stop persecuting Christians and reorganize the parishes of Rome. There was a controversy with the Bishop of Alexandria, also called Dionysius, caused entirely by mistranslations and misunderstandings in letters in which Rome thought that Alexandria was falling in heresy about the Trinity. This was clarified and solved by the exchange of letters, and he sent funds to Cappadocia to reconstruct the church because it was raided by the Goths in a war. Saint Felix I promoted the tradition of celebrating mass over the tombs of martyrs, popularizing this custom of burning relics below the altars of churches, which is still common today. He supported the deposition of Paul of Samosata, bishop of Antioch, by a synod in the year of 269 because this bishop denied the doctrine of the Trinity. The following year, the bishops of Syria named Domnus as the true bishop of Antioch, but Paul resisted to give up the church building. In the year 272, Felix convinced the emperor Aurelius to take Paul out of the building and he supported Domnus and ordered the church building to be given back to the bishop recognized by the Italians. Very few things are known about Aethikianus' papacy. He is said to have buried 324 martyrs with his own hands. He buried them with their clothes instead of just white covers. He is also said to start blessing the fruits of the field cultivated by Christians. Saint Chaos was the pope who saw the beginning of the new anti-Christian laws. It's related to the emperor Diocletian, he was part of the nobility who converted Christianity. His brother Saint Gavin and his niece Saint Susanna were killed by refusing to praise pagan gods. Chaos decreed that before someone could assume the position of bishop, he must first be porter, lector, exorcist, acolyte, subdeacon, deacon, and priest. He also divided the districts of Rome among deacons to search for the corpses of martyrs. Saint Marcellinus lived the beginning of the Diocletian persecution. Because of this fact, no records remain from him despite accusations of the Donatists, heretics from North Africa that he gave up to his faith. These accusations are denied by St. Augustine of Hippo. Some say that he was killed while others say that he was thrown in jail. Certainly other bishops such as Peter of Alexandria and Cyril of Antioch were also killed by this persecution. St. Marcellus I, not to be confused with his predecessor, took office after two years of set of vacante. Since Diocletian resigned in 305, the church was able to elect a new bishop of Rome in 
308. He led the church in a time of confusion since the property of the church had been confiscated and the cemeteries had been profaned. A lot of Christians lost track of the celebrations and the activity of the church was pretty much interrupted. No churches and cemeteries were created during his papacy. He insisted that lapsed Christians had to do public penance and he was arrested and banished by the Emperor Maxentius.